some extra dough for Thanksgiving dinner because my kid TJ eats like a horse. <laughs> I decided to sign up at this place called rent a -Mutt to get some part-time work. It's run by Jerry Jenkins, a real jipmeister. He takes like 75% of the earnings, but I'm desperate, so I'm screwed. Jerry sent me out on a stupid assignment a few weeks back. Didn't go so great. Yep, yep. Fifi knows how to retrieve pills and she'll be able to get your Benevusel. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm telling you, Miss Crumble, you will absolutely love her. Uh-huh. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, Jerry. Todd here. Ready and willing to work. What you got for me? Oh, no. Huh? Get the hell out of here. What? What? I'm in litigation because of you, you little jerk. $25,000 worth of jewelry stolen. Ouch. Did you read about that in the papers? Did ya? Did ya? Uh, no. But those folks seem pretty hoity-toity. You know what I mean? Affluent. You were supposed to be a security dog, not a frickin' guest at a party. But hey, who knew the poo-poo platter was off limits? And the jacuzzi? Well, after five mojitos, who in the heck's gonna say no to that? Anyway, aren't you like bonded or something? That's not the point, you hairy little punk. Oh man, hey Jerry, not necessary. I got nothing for you. Nothing, zero, zilt, goose egg, nothing. Get out of here. Hello. Oh, hey, Merv. So, uh, you need a sitter? Okay. No food, no TV, no hates overhead lights, uh huh. No conversation. Suppositories? What? Ouch. Listen, I'm really booked up here, Merv. I have to look through my uh, Rolodex. Can you hold on just one second? Hey, uh, tell you what there, Todd. Fight me, Bullwinkle! I don't do windows or suppositories. That's right, you're good for nothing, little stink bomb. Frickin' mutt. Do! Oh, oh, Merv! Merv! Oh, Merv! Oh, man. Some guys just have no people skills, you know what I mean? Hey, you pet owners who leave your mutts on Thanksgiving might want to check this out. Got a question about your pet? <laughs> just ask Dame Biscuit. <laughs> Queen of Pet Etiquette. <laughs> Hello, petlings! Nanette from Champaign, Illinois writes, Dear Dame Bisquette, my pain in the butt mother-in-law. I know how you feel, Nan. As much as I loved Lord Bisquette, his mother was a cat person. My mother-in-law insists we spend Thanksgiving with her. What's worse is she's allergic to dogs, so we're forced to leave our Cocker Spaniel Jujube at home all by his lonesome. Kel Drastique, of course, it's the holidays. I have a nifty little trick I've been doing for years with my pups. 
and it works like a charm. Simply cross off Thanksgiving in your date book and trick Jujubee into thinking it's Wednesday and you're going shopping just for him. And then make sure you set to record the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. This is key. And then when you leave for Thanksgiving with your despicable relatives, he'll think you're going out shopping. And also be sure to bring back a gob of leftovers from your relatives. And then on Friday, wake up like it's Thanksgiving. Turn on that TV and watch that parade. Oh, just in time for Snoopy. I always have broth and giblets boiling away to get their little tummies dancing with glee. And then send them outside to play while you cook all day. Here we go. Bye bye. Right, have fun. It's yeah. 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 Such a convincing table, isn't this lovely? Then when you're ready, let them back in. Come on boys, time for supper. Come on, gobble, gobble, gobble time. Yes, it's time Okay, who wants what? Wait me only, please, just a dollop of starch. Um, I'll take all the dark meat and pile on the tree. I want that gigantic leg and not it's any vegetables. The there you go, slugger. Mm. Trust me, Petlings, this is a sure shot way to I enjoy our nation's foremost culinary holiday with our four leggeds. Ah, more gravy, please. From all of us here to all of our wonderful viewers, happy Thanksgiving and bon appetits! Seconds, please. Me too. Oh, for crying out loud, we didn't more even raise yet. Oh, my God, what are you doing? That's it. Next year, I'm going to Aruba. <laughs> So oh man, I wish my folks loved it when I trashed the house. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that mess. And the owners are just laughing away. Now see, that's life as it should be. Yep. All right, that's the show. See you boneheads next time. Hey guys, don't forget to check out my blog. <gasps>